As I said, Mew VMAX could do well, yes, and is. Avery. So, me and wow. Omen clearly have <laughs> similar mindsets, as it were. And that's quite relevant as well, because yes. Avery is quite powerful Into against the Lost Zone toolbox. Normally, yep. you know, Lost Zone ends up uh, benching quite a lot near the stages. You want to get the comfies down to be able to. Oh! You know, oh! Oh, goodness! Oh! oh. Leading <laughs> with that spirit to We mentioned oh, how dear. ridiculous that can be. That fettered in misfortune ability, very aptly named, might I say, if you're on the receiving end of. It, turning off your basic V ability. So what that means for Oven now, Genesex, any of them come down, won't be able to draw a card. We see a Chromomatic. That is a, a three, I believe. Oh, and uh, uh, Oven's hand is really not that great. No. You see like, a bunch of power tablets and two ultra... Okay, you have, you've got two ultra balls, so I guess you can get a Mew and a Genesex, but you, with the Spirit amount, you have no way to draw more cards. Yeah, that's injured. No, there, there's no fusion energy in the hand as well. So this this could get dicey. Yeah, <laughs> get dicey very quickly. Really yeah. fast. That and Spiritum lead putting in a yeah. ton of work for Pedro right now. I remember one time at NAIC, my opponent was playing Spiritum deck. They prized it game one. Game two, they found it. So I was going first on game three. So I said, oh, at least I get one turn of uh, Genesex, right? Laughing. And they led the Spiritum. Oh. So I was like, no, I don't get any. And speaking of no Genesex, Oven forced to pass with just a Mew, V, and an Ooh. Let's see what Pedro can do here. That is so, so rough. Uh, Pedro, on the, on the other hand, having a much, much better opening hand. Starts off with a concealed card. going to draw two. It's guarding that lightning energy. and has the battle VIP already ready in hand. So wow. going to be able to set up even further. And uh, I think we're going to start to see these uh, come phase and flower selecting start to pop off. Yeah, we see those little micro decisions there that the top players make, opting to do concealed cards before the battle VIP pass, so you have maximum odds of drawing into the Pokemon you would have searched anyway, so you can have a higher chance of having more than just two um, basic Pokemon. Here we go, Pedro, doing the prize check searches, trying to work out, you know, what resources have I got to work with. But, wow, what a commanding start here, I think, for Pedro. Yeah, absolutely insane. So, do going through all the counts of the Pokemon. Probably going to grab two Comfys here, I imagine. I didn't see any other... Um, Pokemon search in Pedro's hand, so definitely going to want to get two comfies down to start to be able to pull off these uh, flower selectings and I think making having that debate internally now. Unless was there any other kind of Pokemon search in the hand? No, I don't believe there was. I don't think I saw much. So we're going to see two comfies hitting the bench. Obviously, that flower selecting. Yeah, and you look at the top two cards of your deck, put one in your hand, one into the Lost Zone. And in case you don't know, we want to try and get to seven cards in the Lost Zone as soon as possible so Pedro can play his Mirage Gates to accelerate energy. And then once you get to ten, Freya, yeah. Lost Mine is active. Yes, the, the, uh, the Gatekeeper attack, as we called it. Mm -hmm. Pedro also having a quick look uh, to see what other resources are available just uh, in, the in the deck as well. They'll have a look at Super Raw, yeah. the Mirage Gates, just all these uh, sort of key counts that you want to make sure that you're hyper aware of as you progress further into the match. But for now, it looks like, yeah, just going to be grabbing the two come phase and let's see what comes up from these first two flower selectings. There's no choruses experiment yet, so Pedro ideally would like to hit one of those or maybe another battle VIP pass just to really get the setup going. But it looks like just a bunch of Mirage Gates in hand right now. Yeah, not the greatest of hands. One thing I want to draw attention to that you sort of alluded to, uh, Pedro keeping an eye on the resources via stuff. Oh. <laughs> getting to the battle VIP pass. Pedro's actually debating whether to take it yeah. here because... Yeah, because I don't think Pedro has another switch yet. No, I've just got uh, the rope, uh, yeah. but you probably want to leave that ISQ in the active so you can maybe cramor um, it with Vice, but innocently. So, but no, I mean, that'll be happy yeah. fast, turn well, one. Well, okay, I mean, if you want to go maximum greed here, what you oh. could do oh. is. I think <laughs> you, I know where you're going with this. Yeah, you, yeah. Yeah, you rope, <laughs> switch into, you know, get out enough, um, yeah. get out of the Dragonite, yeah. and get out and just enough stuff to yeah. be able to put seven in the Lost Zone. And then. Mirage Gate, KO. Dragon Gate. Gale, and that basically says that you're going first or second game too if you pull that turn off. So, yeah, yeah that is the hyper aggression. Well, maybe Pedro's hiding against it. We're going for the cram instead. I love the, the decision yeah. making here. Like, I mean, it, it is a risk, right? Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, I think you have to, because, right? Yeah. Because uh, the, the problem being, if you miss, I mean, it's not like you're behind if you miss, but at the same time, it is a, you would need to hit a lost vacuum and a yeah. chorus experiment this yeah. turn or to pull it off. And I think, given Pedro's current hand, mm. I don't think that's likely. So, I think Pedro's just sensibly playing the odds there. Yeah, and I think then you'd also have to put down the Dragon Knight. That could be a way back in for Ovin, you know, having two prizes in play that you can try and kill before they do anything. And realistically speaking, if you're Pedro, you've led Spirit Gym against a Mew deck. I don't think you need I to try and turn the clamps that quickly. That's a very good point, actually, <laughs> so, yeah. uh, Even Rope into... Um, the crown rant could be good in there as well. Oh, we see the, oh, we see the forest oh. seal stone. So that would have been the other argument for getting the dragonite. It's like, yeah, there's liability, but it means if you hit a forest seal stone, you yeah. have like a guaranteed search of any card. So I'm sure Pedro would have been thinking of that as well. But 
ultimately deciding that this is the best way to go. Uh, manual retreat and then another flash selecting. Ooh, no Colrus. So I don't think we're going to see um, Cramorant this turn. I mean, not, yeah, we're not going to see a spit innocently. No, Only we're not. three cards in the loss zone. Oof. Yeah, Nest wow. Ball, easy choice to Lost Zone, of course. Bench is already full. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be it. Although, like you did just say, I don't think it's going to matter too much, given what we know what Raven's Hand is like. I just realized something. Oh. Dragonite wasn't ever an option, because there's one Lightning in the discard pile. Pedro prized his other Lightning energy. Oh. <laughs> so that was never an option. Okay. Um, but there we do see the chorus. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so Irvin had to draw pass and uh, Pedro oh, just right. rips the chorus off the top. <laughs> yeah. One thing we do know about Pedro is very animated for the stream. Yeah. A bit of a showman, as it were. <laughs> you absolutely love to see it. And okay, this goes back to what we were saying, right? Yeah, Pedro maybe didn't have the ideal turn one, but yeah. given how he's led the spirit to him and uh, Irvin just drew a card and said go. Exactly. Does it really matter? Yeah, like, do you really need to go for the win that turn? <laughs> <laughs> you can't draw cards, and they've only got a three-card hand as well. So, yeah, that is very impressive. So what are we on now, then? Um, five in the Lost Zone, so yep. Cramorant now is live. Only two away from those Mirage Gates, and that's where things can get real interesting. Yeah. I mean, there won't be a KO happening, of course, because uh, no. Pedro has effectively bench-locked himself, so mm -hmm. there is uh, no space to put down a KOing Pokemon yeah. uh, out. But he'll still be able to set up very nicely, got, going for another Concealed Cards. It finds a VIP pass and a psychic. Then another flower selecting. There's oh, there's a Raikou Ooh, and a Pokestop. Interesting. Yeah. Now, Pokestop could be interesting. If Pedro decides <laughs> to use that, that could be a way for Oven to try and get back in this game. Mew V Max is a deck that plays a lot of item cards traditionally, so. Yeah, I don't think you want to play it right now. I think yeah. it's probably way too much of a risk. So I think you, you actually don't need the Raikou as an attacker, so I think it's right to that. But yeah, just, just leaving it as is, I think, makes a whole lot of sense. And uh, another Forest Seal Stone hitting <laughs> Lost Zone as. Pedro finds that and uh, bosses orders off of the latest flower selecting. I think via seeing those two forest hill stones in the lost zone, we might be peering into Pedro's game plan for the rest of this game. Maybe he's going to try and go traditional lost box route to victory just here. Single, which seems sensible when just, you've got Spirit Tomb just chilling. Yep, single prizes all the way. And of course, uh, the math working out here perfectly spitted innocently, doing yeah. 110 in its exact knockout on the ice queue. So there it is, spit innocently, one prize taken. Big and card for Ovin! Was that? No. And it was a pass. Oh we didn't my get to see goodness! What it was. No, we didn't get to see what it couldn't have been that good. Uh. <laughs> oh wow! So, but like you did say, Pedro has been to himself, so there is no massive offensive threat that can do 180 right now. So, Oven at the bare minimum has at least one more turn. But this is not what yeah. you want to see. One more turn to find something to like, find some kind of relief from this uh, from this lockdown here. Just just literally a one card lockdown as well. Literally just. <laughs> yeah. a, just a spirit to him. Yeah, that is. Oh, I couldn't tell you as a Mew player for how much that spirit. It haunts my nightmares. Quite yeah. honestly, yeah. right. So this could be the turn for Over. Need to get something. Uh, wait, it's, it's an Ultra Ball. So it's, we could see uh, a new V Max. Oh, is there a new V Max in hand? So we could see an attack actually this turn. We also see a fusion oh. energy. So we could. Okay. Could maybe see that going to a Genesect to draw some cards, but then you, you wouldn't be able to attach a DT to your Mew V if you were to do that. Yeah. So if there was an Elisa Sparkle in hand, this is true, that actually. would be perfect. Yeah. Then you could you know, attach one to each. So Genesect goes live, and then you can attach the other one in your hand, and then yeah. you can yeah. go for the attack. But the only problem you'd like to try and pull this turn off with a Mew V without damage on, right? Yeah. Um, now you've taken a spit innocently. It makes the offensive threat much better. Or oh, does it actually attach to the, the Ben Genesect V? So that uh, that so denies any uh, Elisa's play. Yeah, yeah, so I mean, you have to do this so you can actually draw a spirit on the spirit tomb, right? So it's kind of the only yeah. real, I think that was maybe the only play that Irvin could do. It does uh, prolong the suffering a little bit, yeah. as it were. Like, or, or it does give it like, a little bit more of a chance to come back in here, but uh, a battle VIP pass and a power tablet <laughs> isn't going to be doing much of anything right now. <laughs> that is unfortunate. For anyone at home, the reason why that Genesect can now draw cards underneath while that spirit tomb is in play is because fusion strike energy prevents all effects of abilities done to the fusion strike Pokemon it is attached to. Absolutely. So, yeah, that, that is your safeguard against spirit tomb, essentially. It's not a perfect one because obviously you'd rather be attaching your energies to Mew to attack, but if it's between that and not drawing cards at all, it seems like a pretty easy yeah. choice. Yeah. Not ideal. Okay, so now we see this one lightning energy go back into the deck. That does mean Dragonite V is now live. So that is something we do have to keep tab. Well, I can say live when, when a bench bot is open. Yes, <laughs> it will be live. Yeah, but it is it is important to mention though. And uh, Pedro actually has, is that four Mirage Gate in hand? No, it's three. 
it, it's a lot. Right? Like, <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> if you, if the fact you're even asking that <laughs> question <laughs> says a lot. It does. As, um, I mean, the, the Moonlight Shuriken here was not a bad play, you know. Sets up the Genesect nicely for um, Sableye to come in as well. Yes. And yeah, it just true. puts a bit more pressure on this Mu V Max as well. It, it's a way of just getting more damage on the board in an yeah. attack, right? Because your camera yeah. is doing like 110, whereas you're getting an effective 180 yeah. on the board with the 90 twice from the Midnight Shuriken. So, yeah, it makes a lot of sense here. And especially when you're not doing uh, much else, why not, right? There's, uh, you're not, like, you don't stand anything to lose. You could even maybe think about playing Boss's Orders to bring up the Genesect, because then you'd have to attach another energy or, or expend another resource to retreat the Genesect. And then if you was to <laughs> retreat the Genesect, there goes your fusion as well. So. Yeah. And there we do, so that 1990 Moonlight Shuriken over it. Okay, my friend, you had a Battle VIP pass and a Power Tablet in your hand. To stay in this game, you need to get something good. What is it? Show us! Ah! It's, a, it's oh, another it's a fusion energy. Uh, mm, no, that's not. That's I not. mean, you could attach to active draw and then hope to get an Elisa, and you could attack. Yeah. You, or, could, you could Elisa to the bench, generate an attack with that. Oh my goodness, oh. is that what's happening? No! no! What is this? Not like this! Oh, no! <laughs> no! And there's oh. the concession. Oh my goodness what gracious. What a brutal me. start for Oven. Going to want to move on from that very quickly, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, no, but that's, that's what happens when you're playing Mew, and then you get to <laughs> turn one spirit, or turn zero spirit, <laughs> even. Zero. you know what I mean? <laughs> it's such a, like, an absurd uh, concept right yeah. idea, like a turn zero card. But yeah, if you just start with the spirit tomb, that's Yeah, it's essentially right. Um, yeah. You just get out of hand and pour over there, having to sort of give up the concession and have a maximum time for games two and yeah. three. Yeah. Do so you think, was there an argument maybe that Oven should have even conceded that earlier? Because yeah, I, think, I think, you know, so. it's, it's never nice to say, oh, you should, should they give up early, right? You always want to you know, do your best to make sure they have a, like, a chance to win. But mm -hmm. given how that start was, and also bearing in mind specifically how long the loss box deck usually takes to win yes, in yeah. a situation, would they, do you think there could have been maybe an argument to concede a little bit earlier? I think so. I think seeing the Forest Hill Stones hit the loss zone can tell you that Pedro wasn't planning on using two fours. That would have been your way to try and win the game back faster. So maybe Maybe, in all honesty, um, you could have conceded early. But you never know against Lost Box. You know, yeah. It can require a little bit of work. You know, if the Stark Energy don't come at the right times, Lost Mine's not an option. You could just sort of max miracle your way. Uh, maybe a Psychic Leap could come to remove some damage. But um, the good news is that wasn't that long. It was only about, what's that, like, what, 20 minutes or so? Still plenty of time. Yeah, exactly. So it's uh, we have plenty of time for these uh, next few games, and uh, I think that's going to be, you know, it's better to lose a game quickly, as it were, yes, uh, in a you know, 50 minutes best of three scenario, because then you know that you're more likely to be able to actually finish out a full series. Oh, you are 100% correct there, as they are shuffling up, and we're getting ready for our game two. Meloetta is in the prize card, so that will not be an option. Probably not something you want to use too often against Lost Box, to be fair. Uh, one copy of Forest Hill Stone. Let's see what Pedro has prior. You'd love to see Spirit Tomb in there if you're, <laughs> if you're over. No, there is no Spirit Tomb no. there. Um, oh, two, two copies of Lost Vacuum's interesting, though. Yeah, that's uh, one of your main uh, fuel cards, as it were. It's uh, something that you want to make sure that you see uh, early on to maybe get like an, to sort of put the turbo into yeah. the loss box, right? Yeah, get exactly. Seven in there, get the turn one attack, but uh, two prize Ooh. are going to make that a bit more difficult. That is a big trek in shoes because oh. that Avery has been revealed. Now, Avery was one thing I was thinking could be a defense against Spirit Tomb, right? Because it forces your opponent to discard down to three bench. That is a heads oh. on that ba on that cram. So we're going to see a battle of our people. So yeah, if you were to play the Avery when uh, Pedro has a full bench, Pedro has to really decide, um, do I want to keep the Spirit Tomb? You probably do, but then you're going to have to get rid of cards you otherwise would be able to play a keep if you wasn't playing the Spirit Tomb. Unfortunately, that's at the discard pile quite early, that Avery. So we do see one copy of Power Pad for Oven, so it could come back at some point. But now Pedro is aware. Yes. And uh, sort of, uh, awareness is half of the battle, right? So yeah. it, it does, um, just uh, looking here, does Oven have a way to get that Avery back, though? That's a, yeah, there is. Oh, there is that Power Pad. OK, so uh, yeah, definitely something that uh, Pedro is still going to have to watch out for, even in this game. So yeah, Oven off to the race now. Can Pedro find that spirit to him? We know it's not in the prize card. We see a concealed, concealed cards. cards uh, that's a Dragonite. Yeah. Uh, oh. We see a wait. Oh. There's no ball search. Well, there's no search at all in that hand. It's. Is it's, there any? 
Wait. There's a switch. Wanna see a fleet footed? Oh my goodness. There's a big fleet footed. Oh, oh no goodness. way you're having me on. There's no way. <laughs> One card and it was battle VIP fast. <laughs> what in the chat? Oh my goodness. Some okay. things were just meant to be. <laughs> Look at Pedro. Ovind as well. You oh can't believe it. Oh my goodness. You know what, Shay? Sometimes you just, <laughs> you just, you just got to put it on the table and say, yep. yeah, I'm just going to, I'm going to ride my luck here yep. and uh, I'm going to have faith that my deck is going to come through for me. Yep. And sometimes it does. Wowzers. So that fleet footed ability, in case you don't know, lets you draw one card while that um, Raikou is in the active. So that one card had to be an extremely good one. Turns out it was the best one. Right. Battle VIP pass. Pedro is now off to the race. As you can quickly see, that Spirit Tomb hit the field, so that means those Genesects without Fusion Energies will not be able to draw yeah. cards. And just to make it abundantly clear, there was nothing else in Pedro's hand going on, right? No, it was yeah. Like, there was a Dragonite in there, but uh, there's, there was no way to like draw such more cards apart from riding the luck on that Fleet Footed. Wow, absolutely incredible. <laughs> and we have a game. We have a game, that's for sure. Um, it's not all Sunshine and Rainbows for Pedro. It does have a two prize Pokemon in the active. You know, if over hand supports it very easily to dispatch that Raikou, you know, just, you know, a DTE, um, one modifier, I believe, and then you're off to the race. In fact, do you even need a modifier? 200 HP? I don't think you do, actually. Um, so but it would yeah. depend on... Uh, if you use DTE or not, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But uh, So that could be one route to... Okay, no, there's a switch card that one <laughs> safely back to the bench. Yeah, I def definitely don't want to leave that in the active if you're not going to be attacking with it this turn. Although, actually, is there a possibility of a... There is a, maybe a possibility of a Raikou KO this turn, mm. although maybe not with... How many bench Pokemon mm. do we see? That would... Is it three, three aside? Or, well, four? But, uh, so, yeah, so it would be 180. If, if Pedro had a full bench, it would be 180. Okay. Right? So it actually would be enough. But I think the problem is I think there's no way to get seven in the loss zone this turn. I think that's yeah, probably more the, more the issue, especially with uh, two vacuum prized as well. Very, yeah, very unlikely to be able to pull it off. I'll tell you what, he's already managed to get that uh, fleet footed battle VIP faster. Oh, no, we see a. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. So I think this makes a lot of sense, right? You want to try and sort of slow down or even a bit if you. Uh, this is what we were talking about last game as well. If you boss up the Genesect, it forces another switch out to be yes. found. So, and of course, now with the Spirit Tomb in play, it's going to be a lot less likely that Ovens are going to be able to find mm. us out. So this could actually buy Pedro a lot of turns. Yeah, this really could. And then you have that counter synergy if you have to attach fusions to... Oh, okay. Ooh, hold oh, hold on a sec. So we could see... It would be a very costly retreat, though. Um, so we see the fusion... We see the Elisa Sparkle, letting you attach one fusion energy yep. from your deck to two of your fusion strike Pokemon. That is a huge start. So that's exactly, like... Yep. When you see that um, Spirit Tomb come down, that is the exact counterplay that you want to do in an ideal world is just Elisa on two, two Genesects. There's a world in which we see a block slider into the Spirit Tomb for KO. Oh. That is a thing. And Ovin does play Lost City. Now, this... Oh, wait. Is that Lost City in the discard pile? Uh, yes. Oh, it is. Oh, I haven't really got the choice. Because in an, in an ideal way, we do see the Iskew come down. In yeah. case you don't know, that block slider letting you do 40 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon for each fusion strike energy attached to all your Pokemon. But then what? Mew VMAX can copy that attack, obviously. So I guess in a Dreamer scenario, Ovin would love to send that Spirit Tomb to the Lost Zone. Not possible now. Yeah, unfortunately not, but uh, we see that, that um, uh, Ovin going for that exact play with the Elisa where, you know, two uh, uh, Fusion Strike NG on each of two Genesects and just trying to maximize the draws possible to oh. make this play happen, but... I don't, don't think this hand supports anything right now. No switching card. We need, we need to see a switching card there and an ideal in energy, and I don't think we saw any. Yeah, no, not great. Um, there's a, another new coming down. Uh, there's a uh, pal pad, so we're going to be able to get back that Avery from earlier and just fin the hand up some more. Um, one more uh, Fusion Strike system still uh, able to be used with, of course, the Gen Set on the bench. And, of course, with Spirit Tomb only having 60 HP, mm -hmm. even if you attach a double turbo energy to a Mew yep. and you do the block slider yep. the copy, it's still enough after the dam damage reduction. Yep. Uh, but solo, Ovin's going to play a power tablet anyway to render that point moot. So moot. This could be a massive turn here for Ovin. Do we find switch energy? Was that a switch cart, yeah, I think? Yeah, it was. And I think there's a or forest seal stone as well. Forest seal stone. Oh, my goodness. We might see the block slider. Uh, there's the forest seal stone. We're going to see that star alchemy, I would imagine. Choice belt as well. Not strictly relevant right now, at least. Star alchemy, and you grab any card from your deck. Yeah, and so you're going to be able to grab the double server. And, and <laughs> Ovin, Ovin's done it. He's doing it. <laughs> well, I tell you what. I tell you what, viewers, as a Mew player, 
this is going to feel very satisfying for me to get that, get that spirit tube out of here. And there it goes. Oh, wow. <laughs> Uh, to be fair, reali realizing the um, with the power tablet, of course, only if it buffs to be active. Yeah. So yeah, so it actually was uh, the, the map still worked out to be relevant. But yeah, that's a huge turn for Oven, and now he's uh, well on his way to coming back to this game. And this is going to be really interesting because this will force Pedro. If if Pedro privatizes the Spirit Tomb, he's going to have to play Super Wars a lot earlier than what he'd like, and it might not be for full value. Not getting back as much energy as he would like or anything like this. A little clutch escape rope there, actually Ooh. forcing a, a, a low HP two prize Pokemon in the active. Don't don't forget, Pedro has that Raikou there, just chilling, perfectly capable of hitting 180 damage. Yeah, so maybe, maybe this is the move, right? Maybe you just uh, you know, KO, KO Mew and then yeah. pick off two Genesects. That's uh, the 2-2-2 the two, two, two no, exactly. map is a very viable map for the Lost Box X to go for, especially when Pedro's only conceded one prize at this yeah. point, right? So yeah. it, it's very reasonable for him to take three two-prize knockouts, whereas Oven would be forced to... Um, it would take three two prize knockouts and still wouldn't really work. Oh, that was a horrible pokey stop. Getting rid of Ooh. double confet and a forest seal stone. Wow. Oh, that's nasty. Goodness gracious. But I do think we see one of the good things about Spirit Tomb in this matchup is normally if Spirit Tomb wasn't around, Ovin would have bossed the Raikou, gone two, then trying a 2-2-2, two, 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 right? Or something yeah. along those lines. Because Ovin's forced to skew his prize trade, that opens the door for Pedro to go two. Uh, take two prizes and then, you know, double KO Genesec. So it actually buys Pedro time. Even though the Spirit Tomb was in the discard pile, it still had a massive effect on this game. Yeah, exactly. And uh, But Ovin had to do that, of course, right? Yeah, because exactly. He, he, you haven't he, got a choice. Yeah, if you don't take out the Spirit Tomb, your deck just doesn't function. So it, it was, uh, that's even... Oh, wait, what, what, oh, wait, what is that it? Was that a concession from Pedro? I, I, I think so, yeah. I think so. Wasn't able to attack with that Raikou. Probably didn't find Mirage Gates or anything like this. Or only couldn't get his Lost Zone up yeah, high I enough. Think, I, I think that, yeah. that sort of double comfy in the, in the discard power was too much. I think he just yeah. had no way of getting to seven in the Lost Zone. Think so, yeah. Needed to get that Chorus off the fleet footed. That Raikou needed to draw uh, really well there, but unfortunately couldn't. And we have a game three. Tell you what, was not expecting that. Over no. Doing really well there. No, no, yeah, just uh, out, of, out of nowhere. And now we definitely know that you know, this game is yeah. more likely going to finish Ooh. properly, right? And I think that's probably even why Pedro made that yes. conceded when he I did. Agree. Because uh, he, you know, he saw the writing on the wall for, hold on, I'm not mounting an attack this turn, so I can't do that 2-2-2 two, 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 uh, yes, plan in order exactly. to win. So let's not waste any more time. Let's make sure we have time for a full game three. I think that is correct. And, and you have to imagine if you're Pedro, you're thinking, I had spirit to him out and are still lost. Chances of that happening again, probably low. So let's put it all onto a game three scenario. And I love it. I adore it when players have that sort of strategy and think, right, yeah, I lost that game. Shouldn't have done it. Won't happen again. Yeah. Let's go to a game three. Let's go, baby. Let's. let's. So, and I think if you're Pedro now, what do you think you're thinking? How are you approaching this game three? I'm thinking, can I have Spiritomb in my opening seven, please? <laughs> <laughs> nice and simple. <laughs> Let's not have to put it on a Raikou fleet footed for yeah. one. Let's just have it in the hand. Just yes. There you go. Nice and confident. <laughs> if possible, have another mm. bench program so you can play around a skate rope as well. Yeah. That would be I, I, the I guess dream. The, the other aspect, of course, you think about is that it, it, sometimes with Lost Box X, there actually is a debate whether you want to go first or second. Yeah, but for in, sure. But in this instance, you want to go first, right? Yeah. Because it gives you a chance to like, find that Spirit Tomb and do like an effective turn zero Spirit Tomb, right? It's not actually yeah. that, but it's uh, still a way of putting it down before the... Oh my goodness, that mulligan. Yeah, so I think we've seen one mulligan from uh, each player, but obviously that, that first mulligan gets cancelled out. Ovin does have a basic Pokemon, so Ovin will be able have one extra card to start this game. I'm not 100% sure who is going first or second. I would imagine Pedro's going first. Yeah. Like I said, if you can open that spirit to him and say, you're not using Fusion Strike System today. Yeah, I think it's going to be very, very important for uh, Pedro to find here. And if you go first, you give yourself that maximum chance of being able to stop Ovin from actually doing anything. So even though, yes, a lot of times Lost Box likes uh, going second because you can you know, do your call rest, you can mm -hmm. be, have that early uh, aggression. In this instance, you definitely want to go first. Yeah, I'm looking at the price cards there for Oven. Nothing terribly impactful. One copy of Pal Pad. So that is the only copy. Um, that is his only copy of Path to the Peak as well. Oh my goodness, Pedro, you little rascal, you! <laughs> I've just seen what Pedro's led. You haven't, but I have. And it's a little bit naughty, all things considered. I had to stop myself from spitting out my drink <laughs> just then, like literally. Oh, <laughs> just... goodness. You might be able to see from Oven's reaction what Pedro has led. Oh. And he has led that spirit too. And that means Oven is immediately going to have to jump through some hoops to use any Genesex at all. Yeah. But Petra could have gone second after all. He didn't need to go first. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. uh, but obviously, that's still the correct 
Now, choice to make. One thing I would say as Pedri plays this um, nest ball. Ovin has led Muv, has a free retreat cost. If Ovin's hand supports it, we could see attach fusion energy, at least a sparkle. As he actually has that combo, you could psychic leap that uh, spirit tomb immediately and remove it from play. It would leave your vulnerable uh, 180 HP Muv in the active, but it is an option. You could also use Meloetta or Isku as well, which yes. you do see. So. Um, it could be possible for Ovin to remove it, but it's, an, again, immediately a hurdle you have to jump over. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, it, it, it just buys you that as a key turn or two, yeah. right? And uh, that's, even if it only does that, Spirit Tomb has like, done enough and it's done its job. And yeah, exactly. And if it does more than that, then even better. So it's going to be interesting to see how you know, Ovin decides to handle this exactly. There isn't a lot of search or draw in his hand. All I saw was a trekking shoes, so he's going to have to get a little bit lucky off uh, that in order yeah. to... Get the start of going further. So yeah, double choice spell, ice Q. The uh, does at least have the energy in hand and the, and the sparkles to be able to actually do a psychic leap and take this KO, but not much else other than that. So gonna have to be a little bit measured in the approach here. I guess if Pedro really wanted to close the door on any shenanigans, he could get that spirit tomb out of the active and put Manaphy down. That would completely remove any counterplay from Ovin. Um, outside of rogue escape rope promotions, which I'm sure Pedro wouldn't do. So that yeah. is an option. But yeah, immediate hurdles for Ovin to jump over as Pedro does find himself one confident. I haven't actually had a chance to look at Pedro's hand. I just saw the spirit tomb and <laughs> got a bit, a bit <laughs> wild, as it were. So let's see what Pedro can manufacture here. I, I, again, I don't think there's a lot there. I think uh, the Nest Ball was the only real search card. I think other than that, it, yeah, so it makes sure oh, like goodness. Pokemon and switching cards. So we'll be able to, you know, go, you play the switch card, go for a flower selecting. Maybe, oh, do you play the Pokestop here? That's the other debate, right? Because... <sighs> The yeah. deck's still full. You haven't had time to filter out Pokemon or energy. Oh, oh never my mind. goodness gracious me. Can someone please call the fire brigade? Because <laughs> Pedro is drawing <laughs> fire, baby. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Absolute flames as after that first flower selecting, uh, Pedro finding the battle VIP pass, and now is going to be able to set up even further and going to go for that mana fee. <laughs> wasting no time oh, at all. Dear. Oh, wow. So, like I mentioned, that completely closes the door now for any turn one spirit tomb removal shenanigans. That is no longer an option. And now, the one ray of hope that Ovin has in that hand currently, if the trekking she doesn't find anything useful, has now been closed. <laughs> I think it's Ovin got his hands crossed there thinking, oh my goodness, what am I staring across at? <laughs> <laughs> we are stunned behind the desk here, honestly. I was just looking at Freya and their viewers, bare shaking her head thinking, <laughs> wowzers. <laughs> Sometimes the cards fall in your favor, sometimes they don't, but uh, you just gotta, you, you gotta trust in your deck to pull through, like I mentioned earlier. And uh, like Pedro's deck doing that multiple, multiple times now, <laughs> yeah, so uh, no, yeah. gotta be feeling pretty good about himself. Um, this, but well, the second flower selecting is a little bit of a trickier decision. We can yeah, see that. Actually, was it water energy? Was it and? and uh, can't see. No. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Go, on, oh. go on, Pedro. A little bit more. <laughs> uh, oh, was it water okay. energy, Mirage Okay, that makes sense, actually. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's not something that you need right now, necessarily. Obviously, you don't want to keep, keep loss owning a bunch of them, but I think maybe getting rid of one now is okay. Um, yeah. But it looks like that's going to be it for Pedro, okay. so... Okay, big turn here for Ovin to stay in this game. Remember, the winner of this match goes four, four wins up. Oh. <laughs> Here's the big pair of trekking shoes. One. Switch car. Second car. I didn't want... Lost City. City oh, my God. Do you know what that means, Freya? Wait. If the Manaphy didn't come down, oh. you could have... You could have removed the spirit tomb completely. Oh my god, you're right. But it's not an option because of the mana fee off that clutch. Uh, oh. Battle VIP last draw. <laughs> Unbelievable. So tantalizingly close. <laughs> Very important to note, um, Ovin's draw for turn was actually a Genesect. Uh, oh, was, oh, yeah, okay. So oh, okay, okay. So it's a very important find. So now we'll be able to use the Elisa Sparkle to attach to the Mew and to the Genesect. It's going to be able to attach both the belts and the second fusion energy. And now, of course, with that protection from the fusion strike energy, can go for the fusion strike system. Uh, only drawing three cards, but you take what you can get in situations like these. And is that going to be just... We're going to yeah. see a psychic leap. Um, and obviously, Psychic Leap, because the two fusion energies, is swinging for the full 70, not 50, as it will be a KO. And let's see what Pedro can do. I love the play from Irvin and not putting down that Lost City, because that would actually help out Pedro. Yeah, <laughs> right, right, right now, yeah, you don't want to... Yeah, you uh, do not want to fuel the Lost Zone further when it's uh, not much going on in there right now. Let's see what Pedro can do. We see a load of switching cards. We do see um, Lost Vacuum. 
Good use of Poke Stop, maybe even. Then you lost that Kim away to accelerate that loss zone at a quick rate. Haven't seen the Colrus actually, have we? No, from we Pedro haven't. so far. So. I think uh, stop them vacuum might be the best choice right now because with the vacuum you're stopping the chance for Raven to maybe use it to mm -hmm. get back into the game itself. And I think you kind of need the push Ooh. right now. Oh, let's see. Oh, mm. just the power pad. Probably not what you want to see when you haven't played a supporter yet. Yeah. But um, yeah, interesting. So we've only got one Confe to play with right now as well because obviously one got discarded. Day at this award, not, not not the greatest of scenarios for Pedro here, is it? No, not at all. Like I think. Can you even, is, is there, I mean, you can vacuum away your poker stop and then retreat and go spit innocently, but that's about all you can I do. I think that's all, that's all you can do. I like putting a Sableye down and maybe forces it. Olga is offering oh. up the Sableye as a sacrifice to Mu VMAX. We do see an Ultra Ball off the top, so we're going to oh. Mu VMAX. Okay, that's huge. Okay. Now, there's a world. If Ovin's one fusion strike system draws boss's orders, we know the Lost City is in hand. We could see boss's orders onto uh, Spirit Tomb, send it to the Lost Zone. Oh, has the boss order? Oh, but it's going after a couple. Oh, I like this play as well, actually. Removing all draw power from Pedro. Wow! Yeah. This is an incredible game. I think uh, Ovin recognizes that uh, Pedro is not working much right now. I'm thinking, maybe instead of going for the Spirit Tomb, like, it yeah. doesn't matter if I'm not working for much, I have a thing that can attack. Yeah. And so just uh, getting get rid of the comfy means I that, that, yeah, that so it's I really, that really heads up uh, from Ovin there. That's why I'm behind the desk <laughs> and Ovin is currently 3-0. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is, you know what I mean? <laughs> so there's another Pokestop. Oh, free item there. That was a good Pokestop, to be fair. Yes, I was. I can be able to play that Hisuian Heavy Ball straight away. Was Greninja in the prize cards for Pedro? This game, I've been. It might have been. We haven't seen it, right? Um, yeah, and there it was. Yes, uh, gets liberated from the prize cards. Very important find then in that case, and uh, and get to look, get that information mm -hmm. of knowing exactly what your prize cards are as well. Never yeah. a bad thing to have. No, 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 never. And uh, yeah, nothing else in there of a uh, major note. I think. I think the the rest of the prize is very workable, but getting that Greninja out, yeah, very, very important. So, gonna be able to do concealed cards, uh, draw a couple more, and. Even if nothing else uh, happens, um, Pedro can at the very, very least just vacuum away the poker stop and yeah. uh, go for the spit innocently just to try and start softening up this Mew. This could be a very big concealed card here. Dragon Ward, oh, that's not something we want to use right now. No. Um, only has three cards in the loss zone. I think that's sort of been uh, glossed over, as it were, because there's no chorus and very limited use of Comfe. Yeah. So we can't even use spit innocently as right now. But, but, but that's, what, that's why you had to play the vacuum, right? Yeah. That, that's, oh, of course. Yes, yeah, that, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, that, and that's exactly why Irvin went for the play where he bossed up the comfy to KO it because yeah, he recognized that, uh, that Pedro just really sort of starved for lost zone fueling resources. Do you? Yeah, I guess to be. To be is there a debate for ever getting rid of a choice belt? Because um, you might want to use a Pokestop again, right? I mean, you're in a dire situation. Yeah, I think I think that's the debate that he's having right now. Yeah. But I, I think, but of course, the problem is if you lost zone a choice belt, then you're not fueling your own loss zone more yeah, and you're already yeah. star for it. So yeah, I think it's probably the right thing to go for here so. and uh, spit innocently onto the Mew, 110 damage. Now, can Ovin make use of this Lost City now? Oh, we're going to see a cram. This cram could be huge, actually. We could see a, oh my goodness, we could see Boss, Lost City, Psychic Leap away. This, that, could be, that could be something we, to remove this 110. That would remove um, Dragonite V as a, you know, as a KO option. Um, wow. This, oh my goodness gracious me. <laughs> this is such a good game. There's the Lost City as well. Fusion and Strike System for three. Three cards. It's, three it's... cards. We see the cram out in hand already. One, um, two. two. Oh no. Oh, we need no. an item. Oh. Oh. oh, here we go. Coin flip. Cramomatic. It's a very, very big coin flip here. Here we go. Was that that's the tails? Oh, goodness gracious me. Oh, and that's uh, going to put a dampener on any kind of uh, plans that Pedro, oh, no, that Ovin had this turn. Oh, I mean, to be fair, if you're Ovin, Pedro still, oh, to be fair, five at the loss zone, that is not a low number. We could see a world in which, oh, it's going to be six now, obviously, after yeah. the Lost City as well. I think you took the gamble, right, and yeah. it didn't pay off. Now uh, Pedro just needs one more card in the loss zone to be able to actually start to really fire on all cylinders, and uh, then uh, Ovin could end mm. up in big trouble. This concealed card could decide the game, quite honestly. Here we go. What so are the cards. two cards? We'd love to see a Colrus Mirage Gate with... Oh, the Nesbol Lightning Energy. 
Uh, we could see, we see switch cart, we could see Nesball, Comfey, you know, switch cart, and then you get another sort of roll of the dice, as it were. Uh, I think that's exactly what we're going to see. Oh my goodness, Freya. <laughs> oh my goodness, gracious me. <laughs> this could go any other way right now. <laughs> and, and this goes back to what we were saying at the start, right? There is so there are so many ways in this in which this match can play out. It is definitely not heavily biased in favor of either no. deck, right? There's uh, so much that can go right or wrong on both ends to and, like, what end up in any kind of like, situation. And yeah, right here, right now, we're kind of witnessing this <laughs> <laughs> live. So switch cart into the Confei Flash, selecting. Oh! That's Wait. not a chorus. It's not, but that super rod is very, very big because there's. Uh, we you were talking earlier about lightning energies, right? There's only two in the deck, and there's one in one the, in hand, one as in well. discard. Yeah, yeah so okay. actually, super rod is pretty big. But then you're gonna have to loss zone your saber live. I think you, you're right. Yeah, you it, haven't got a choice. This yeah. does go up to seven now, though. Um, was there a mirage gate? There is a mirage gate. Yeah, in hand, yeah, right? yeah. There is. So yeah. we could see the dragonite come. Down, yeah, we could see that come down and attack this turn, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you think here on the mute? Yeah, yeah, it, it, yeah. I it's think it's not a matter of like whether you, we can or not, it's whether it's worth it. And I think that's the internal debate that Pedro is having because the uh, there's mm. the scary thing is if you go for that, you leave a two prize on the board, opens at three prize cards. If another move V Max comes down, <laughs> I mean, it would be hard for Oven, but if it does, that could be the writing yeah. on the wall. Okay, so, so let's see what happens. We're going to see attach retreat. Yeah, it's, it's, it's so tough, right? And to be fair, if uh, Pedro's doing this, he's probably resigning himself yeah. from the Dragonite option. Maybe I thinking think so. going for it right now is a little bit too risky, which is, of course, fair enough. But then what do you go for instead? Oh, you, do you promote the Manaphy? Mm, well, I mean, you've only, you've only got, that's your only comfort left, right? I think two have been KO'd Oof. and one in the deck. I mean, I think it's not what you want to do. It might be what you have to do. Oh, we see a forest seal stone. We see a fusion strike. Sis There's a boss's orders. There's a boss's orders. There's a boss's Lost orders. in play. Oh, go ahead the sa That's the last yes. Sableye. So Sableye is no longer a threat. This is probably exactly what Pedro is worried about and why he was debating whether to, yeah. to loss in Sableye or not, because without a counter statement to this Lost City, yeah, now uh, Ovin can KO this other Sableye, and there's no more Sableye options for Pedro now. This is... This is getting very, very ugly for Pedro. I tell you what as well, Oven has managed to get another new VMAX set up. Almost, you'd be uh, shocked to say that say, um, Spirit Tomb has been a factor. Oven's Gosh. balls looking very successful considering we've had maybe, what, three, four uses of Fusion Strike System at maximum. Oven currently at two prize cards, Pedro at six, and that board does not look very well developed. How many times do we need to say it? You can put all the counters you want in your deck. You can throw whatever yeah. counters you want at Mew. Somehow this deck just finds a way to come through time and time and time again. And in this instance, like, Oven didn't even have to actually take out the Spirit Tomb. No, like, the had few, multiple chances to. Like, all, uh, just like drawing from one Genesect and you know, setting up one attacker was enough to just put the hurt, uh, hurt on Pedro. And now, like, look, he's got a four prize lead. And yeah. like, Lost Box can make pretty big prize deficit comebacks, but when one person already has like four prizes taken, it's, yeah, it's I, I, the door is starting to close on Pedro very, very fast. So as we're going to see a Moonlight Shuriken, I would imagine, here. Um, here we see the Super. That has a lot of energies in that yes. multicolored discard pile. Um, uh, so we're going to have to see those shuffled back in. I guess you're going to have to start doing some kind of pressure now if you're Pedro, but with no uh, Sableye for it. And yeah, it. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's so hard, right? Because uh, normally the best way to exploit uh, Moonlight Shuriken if you're not going yeah. for KOs is to follow up with uh, Sableye sprinkling damage everywhere. But that's not an option anymore because they're both in the Lost Zone. Yeah, you can't even Brutal. moonlight Shuriken twice because that's 180 and Genesis has 190, so that's not even an option either. So we do want to see the moonlight Shuriken though. Uh, is, is this Pedro's first attack of the game? Oh no, it's not. Sorry, because the, no, no. the, the, there was a spit innocently, but you could be it's, fooled it's for the, thinking it's, it's the first. It's the second attack, attack of the yeah, game. The it's not that much better. The game, yeah. So yeah, moonlight Shuriken. Uh, at this point, yeah, thinking I just have to try and take out two free prizes. Yeah. It's the only one coming back, uh, but. I think it's too little too late because uh, Oven's going to take another prize here, and then, like, unless Pedro can somehow take all six prizes in one turn, I just don't see a way for Pedro to pull this off. It'd be a fantastic time to be playing Kyogre, do a little escape room. Well, no, because then you just promote the other one, wouldn't you? The other one you'd be, that wouldn't even be a work, uh, option either. Fusion Strike System. We're going to get three, no, two cards here. Two cards. One, but two, three. You've got another fusion. Do you know what that means? That means that Genesec could attack if you want as well. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like, Actually, don't see using that too often. Yeah, Techno Blast. Yeah. Oh, on, on the, oh, oh, not for value, but I did say that. It's <laughs> well this weekend, and there it is. 
<laughs> oh, here we see a Kramamayek. Here we go. We're going to see heads. heads. No. Is that a three? Uh, I, th I think it was a three. Yeah. 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 But again, I think right now it just doesn't matter, right? Or even there's in such a commanding lead, all he has to do is just make sure to like not to, to not throw it away, basically. And he's <laughs> yeah, go on, I want to see a Genesec get you. Oh, we are going to see the um, Star Alchemy being used there yes. by that Forest Seal Stone that can be used under Spirit Tomb because it's technically the tool card that's got the ability, not the Pokemon. Yeah, that does, that does indeed work. Uh, then... tablet. Oh, is this what's going? Are we? I think uh, just trying to get cards out of the hand. Wait, but... this is a KO with Psychic Leap, right? Oh, 70, wait. 100, 130. Oh my goodness, it is. Removing damage from play. Oh, oh my goodness. Now that's a swing turn right there. As if, as, as if things weren't bad enough for Pedro. Now I, there is, yeah. I think, no way for Pedro to come back from this. Like, what's a draw for turn? It's, it's a lost, lost vacuum. vacuum. Chorus deciding not to show up in this game three. We see... Yeah, literally not a single Chorus no, experiment no, has been Chorus played. Chorus is shook right now. He wants no business of this. God. <laughs> Um, Absolutely brutal. And if I'm honest, I think Ovin might have just closed the door there on I, Pedro. I think so as well. That is uh, God, absolutely not what, yeah, how you want a game to go. I mean, when, at the start, we were so we were, we were thinking, oh, my goodness, yeah, Pedro's gotten like the Spirit Tomb straight away. Like, yeah. he's absolutely fine. And uh, Ovin just saying, no, actually, I'm going to play through <laughs> Spirit Tomb absolutely fine. And uh, like, I'm going to make it so that my, I don't even concede a single prize card. Yeah, oh. just to show how strong Genesect is. If you can only use it once per turn, that's still plenty enough in that's a lot of scenarios. Apparently so, yeah. Right, so we are going to see Dragonite come down. We are going to see Mirage Gale. We are going to see a Dragon Gale. So this will force at least, what, one tablet, one modifier? Uh, yeah, it'll be what, it'll, force um, one modifier for the KO. Uh, actually, no, it'll be two, right? Two, no, yeah. of course, oh, yes, yes. So this um, makes sense. Oh, no. It, it could be one with the Genesect. Oh, oh no. It's, it has, it's got a DT as well. It's got a DT as well. Okay. Uh, it's not the quite the perfectly set up Genesect. No, three no. fusions, unfortunately. Okay. <laughs> right, but, but let's but, see what happens. But there's so many ways for Ovin to find a KO here, right? So it's Escape the, ropes live now at this point, right? Yeah. Boss's orders. Pedro's going to do all he can to avoid this. So, yeah, into the Dragonite we go. The... Wait. Oh, there's a water energy in hand. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, wow, I didn't even consider that. Yeah, no, no, but you can see a shred? 50? Yeah, it's a shred. Shred for oh. 50. That's, oh. Okay, oh, I, I, he showed the escape rope in hand. Oh. So, Ovin clutching that game free scenario, oh. even when Spirit Tomb was immediately knocking on the door. Mew Max with Avery taking the dub there against uh, Pedro Torres. Wow, what a round! But that absolutely insane round and proving so elegantly how Mew can play through even the, its most so brutal counters. It's uh, absolutely, it's uh, such a uh, sight to behold. And uh, what a game. Wow, honestly, <laughs> we were on the edge of our... You can't see us. Like, well, we're literally watching the screen <laughs> like this. Oh, my goodness. Like, when those crumb uh, dice was rolling, we were like this. Wow, what a game. And just, it's just interesting watching Mew, uh, Mew be played at such a slower pace, something that we're not traditionally used to seeing. But even under those scenarios, still strong. So, wow, Irving going to that 4-0 record. Yeah, and, like, when you're up against Spiritomb, that's kind of where you end up, like, I'll say, like, devolving.